The Delilah in the Bosom by Thomas Watson If you would not come short of the kingdom of heaven, take heed of indulging any sin. One millstone will drown as well as more. One sin lived in will damn as well as more. If any one sin reigns, it will keep you from reigning in the kingdom of God. Especially keep from sins of your natural constitution, your darling sin. I kept myself from my iniquity, that sin which my heart would soonest decoy and flatter me into. As in the hive, there is one master bee, so in the heart there is one master sin. Oh, take heed of this. How may this darling sin be known? Number one, that sin for which a man cannot endure the arrow of a reproof is the bosom sin. Men can be content to have other sins declaimed against. But if a minister puts his finger upon the sore and touches upon that one special sin, then their eyes flash with fire. They are enraged and spit the venom of malice. Number two, that sin which a man's heart runs out most to, and he is most easily captivated by, is the Delilah in the bosom. One man is overcome with wantonness, another by worldliness. It is a sad thing for a man to be so bewitched by a beloved sin that he will part with the whole kingdom of heaven to gratify that lust. Number three, that sin which a man is least inclined to part with is the endeared sin. Of all his sons, Jacob could most hardly part with Benjamin. Will you take Benjamin away? Genesis 42, verse 35. So says the sinner, this and that sin I have left, but must Benjamin go too? Must I part with this delightful sin? That strikes to my heart. Take heed especially of this master sin. The strength of sin lies in the beloved sin, which, like a cancer striking at the heart, brings death. I have read of a monarch who, being pursued by the enemy, threw away the crown of gold on his head that he might run the faster. Just so, the sin which you wore as a crown of gold must be thrown away, that you may run the faster to the kingdom of heaven. Oh, if you would not lose glory, mortify the beloved sin. Set it as Uriah in the forefront of the battle to be slain. By plucking out this right eye, you will see the better to go to heaven. This Puritan devotional has been brought to you by Grace Gems, a treasury of ageless sovereign grace writings. Please visit our website at www.gracegems.org where you can browse and freely download thousands of choice books, sermons, and quotes along with select audio messages. No donations accepted. Thank you.